Good afternoon, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful Rideshare Revolutionaries. Welcome back to the Rideshare Bums. And welcome back to the insignificant trolls that populate my channel. It's me, Geo, the leader of the Rideshare Revolution. The Rideshare Rockstar. The captain of the 2K Club. The most hated, the most vilified, and the realest, the funniest, the handsomest, and the beardedest driver on YouTube. And I need a haircut. This is not acceptable. But that's not the point of this video. Uh, so, as you guys know, last week I had my best paying trip ever, right? That was on Thursday morning last week during a horrible thunderstorm. And I had a new first this week. Uh, I had my longest trip ever. <laughs> I completely left the state. I went to the, uh, I went to the not so great state of Wisconsin just last night and, um, man, 83 miles, uh, very, very, it was a very quiet ride. Um, it was a lady and her son. I knew I knew it was going to be a long trip. So uh, when they got in the car, he was like eight or nine years old. So I, I gave him the cell phone. I was like, watch a movie if you want, because I had the tablet. So they watched the movie and uh, the kid passed out. Then she handed me back the phone. So I just on a long trip like that, I knew just make the ride as comfortable as possible for the passengers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know what the funny thing is? Um, I'm guilty of a, I've definitely, I'm very guilty of this. I know I've told all of you to not wait at the airport lots. I have, I've definitely been breaking my own rule lately. Um, I'm not going to try to justify it, only that um, I've been doing overnights now consistently, like not missing any nights except for Sundays for the last m month or so. And while I do stay busy with the apps on Uber and Lyft downtown, the trips are usually very, 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 very short. So I figured over the last like week and a half, since I live so close to the airport, why not start my night at the airport? You know, like, you know, do some bum shit, hang out at the airport, and then just let the app lead the way. And then a few times, uh, I've had rise of suburbs. I'd leave the app on the entire time and just drive back to the airport. And I've been staying busy. I've been making, I've had some nights, weeknights, incorporating the airport, getting, you know, like yesterday, that one trip was worth $120. But um, I've had a couple couple nights worth from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. I'm making 130, 150, 160 bucks. So. So maybe I'm, I'm not waiting at the airports. I might have been wrong only because during the day, I do think it's a waste of time. Almost every airport ride I've gotten in the last two weeks has been surged. Like, for example, this trip that I'm going to show you. Um, but no, I'm, I'm definitely guilty of waiting at the lot lately. Only because, I mean, uh, before I started waiting at the lot, between midnight and 4 a.m. downtown or 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. I was maybe making 70, 80, 90 bucks, which is fine. I'm not getting greedy. I've just, the trick was just staying busy downtown or overnight because I knew the demand would be lower. But ever since I started incorporating the airport, it's like I'm making 60 or $70 in two trips in two hours. So why not, right? You gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta find where the money is and you gotta go for it. Uh, but let me show you this, uh, this trip detail yesterday, so you can't see the address. So check that out, guys. Um, from O'Hare Airport to Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, hour and 10 minutes, 83 miles, and it was surged. Um, it was surged at a 1.5, if you guys can, you guys can see that there, right? Sorry for the, for the, for the, you know, for how, how how bright this is. Um, it's a super sunny day today. Um, but you know what the, here's the thing though. If that, if that ride wasn't surged, 
I don't, I'm not entirely sure if it'd be worth it because, um, when I got the trip request, it said 60 minutes plus. So I, in my head, I've been doing this for a while. So in my head, I'm thinking to myself, first, first, the first idea, our first thought that popped on my head was this person's going to Milwaukee, right? And I've never been to Wisconsin as a driver. And I'm like, this person's got to be going to Milwaukee or further north than that. Or they're going somewhere to Indiana because there's really not that many other places that would take more than an hour to get to, you know, with no traffic. So, so I get to the airport terminal and this girl flags me down. I'm like, Hey, are you going, are you, whatever your name is? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, all right. So I start to trip and I was like, and I look back at her. I'm like, I knew it. <laughs> and no, I made the 120 for the hour and 10 minute ride, but I must've been hauling ass because the app said it was going to take 90 minutes. So I got there an hour and 10 and, um, yeah, if, so if not for the, the, the 1.5 surge, um, I would have made only $80 on this ride, which I mean, for an hour and 10 minutes, not horrible, but, uh, just be totally upfront with you guys. I didn't get a trip. I turned the app on as soon as I crossed the border and got gas, uh, after I crossed back, back in Illinois. I didn't get a trip for 40 minutes until I was maybe 10 minutes north of the airport. So, I mean, it was, this trip was not a bust, but it definitely could have been a bust if I, if it wasn't surged because I mean, I would have made 80 bucks for two and a half, three hours. Um, let's go into the fair details. Cause I was a little curious about what, what, what this pasture would, would have been charged for this trip. And, uh, surprisingly enough, um, on the on that trip uh the rider actually didn't get hosed uber didn't really stick it to him as much as i thought they would sorry guys so um uber didn't really like hose him too bad there so as you guys can see the rider paid 167 dollars um and they an uber so out of the 160 167 uber kept 3809 so they kept, uh, I'm horrible at math, but that's somewhere between 20 and 25%. It's not horrible. Uh, I've definitely seen with the upfront pricing, Uber charging or yeah, Uber overcharging the passenger, you know, 60% of what they should have paid. So, uh, I guess good for them. They didn't really, they didn't really hose that pasture too well. So as long as the pastor is willing to pay for it and the trip was completed, then everyone's happy, right? Uh, I just want to share that story with you guys. Um, I've had two airport rides this week that have really kind of really been a big help. I had that trip that was worth 120, and then I had the I had a two X surge ride from from air from O'Hare to uh, like west aurora which uh got with with a tip got me 107 dollars this week so have it I've had a couple lengthy well-paying trips um so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna keep on hanging out a lot uh overnight at least start my night there overnight and see what happens because it's been working out so uh can't complain so far everything's going well i'm making pretty good money for the week um i'll show you guys really quick where i'm at for the week uh i like to be I like to be as close to a thousand dollars heading into Friday as possible. And it's been kind of slow. I'm not going to lie. I think the summer slowdown is upon us here in Chicago, but here's where I am at the week. Keep in mind, I have had two really big trips worth over a hundred dollars each. So I'm at 948 exactly with promotions, no referrals this week. And I'm at 948 on Uber. I've got a hundred dollars on Lyft. So doing well, doing, doing my thing, doing, uh, doing my thing, making money, making it look easy. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got guys. Just want to share this experience with you. Uh, a lot of, a lot of firsts lately, right? Like I've had the first time I hit $2,000 in record in 53 hours, longest trip ever, this trip, best paying trip ever last week. Uh, it's been, it's been legit lately. Just so, um, hope everyone else out there is, uh, is out there kicking ass, making money. If not, just lay back, relax, enjoy the YouTube content. 
Uh, and that's all I got for this video, guys. So I want to thank y'all for watching. And please don't forget to uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the Rideshare Revolution. And I'm out. Bye-bye.